I will show you in under 5 minutes how you get this end result you see here. Our laser will be able to detect player or anything you need it to, it's very simple to make, let's jump right into it. First, I will create two scripts, one is laser, one is target. After adjusting scene position, I will open the laser script inside the code editor. I will delete this boilerplate code and start writing some serialized fields. As you can see, we will need a line renderer component, a distance amount, I defaulted to 8. Next, we will make a layer mask for certain colliders we want to ignore. This I will write as Unity event so it shows an inspector, but I typically just pick the action type. To keep things simple, but still modular, Unity event is also used to invoke in the inspector any function we'd like. Now let's go ahead and create our ray cast, which will be the laser. In the start function, I will initialize the line renderer to have two positions only. This can be later expanded as I show in a future video how to make reflective mirrors. If our ray cast hits a collider, then we set our line renderer to be our laser's transform as start position. The ray cast hit will be set as our second position. If our ray does not hit anything, we set our second position to be our laser start position plus our laser's forward times our laser length. Now using the target script, we can check for this specific hit in our ray cast so we can do additional logic. I will open this script just to call a simple method with debug. Of course you can do whatever logic needed, also invoking the event for other scripts and functions. Here, we can create some gizmos so we can visualize in our scene what our laser will roughly look like. Instead of ray cast, I will switch it to transforms so it can be seen in editor before we hit play. After all that is done, we fill in our script inspector reference for line renderer and fix up the settings. We hit play and test our scene. Let's try creating a cube and manually moving it in front of our laser. We can see our detection is working great. Now, if we would like to use that target script to make laser call our event slash method, we apply the script to our cube object. Our console is showing our debugs. Everything is working great. Please like, comment and subscribe. If you liked or disliked this format, let me know in the comments. Thanks, have a good one.